How much do you have to consume of that to get the amount of protein in a piece of chicken? How about we ask my filmer nutritionist. Jack, do you want yeah, to come bit. and tell them? He's a nutritionist. NPC I'm not going to lie, you're a good looking Come boy. on, you take over. Are you vegan? He's good looking. What's the question? He's hot, How hey. Long yeah, man, I'm vegan. <laughs> We're vegan the same amount of time. They, they're asking the protein question, so I think oh, yeah. you take over. Who asked the question? How much amount of like greens would you have to eat to get like the amount of protein in chicken of one piece? Uh, I think I overheard Tash saying that you can get it from legumes, you can get it from plant-based meats. What about pastas? I don't think Pasta. I know what legumes are. Legumes. No, no, legumes. Legumes are like chickpeas, chickpeas, aren't they? Yeah, chickpeas, baked beans, but you can get all the plant-based meats. Chicken don't make fire. Oh yeah, you can get plant-based chicken. I actually have that quite often too. It's pretty tasty. I used to love chicken, the taste of it, but then I realised that the actual... No, no, I didn't know her then. What's the love story? What's the like the love life between you? Did you like meet on the city streets when you saw her? Yeah, and pretty much, pretty you saw, much. You saw the vegan, you're like, okay. Yeah, as much relationships go. Anything, yeah. anything for that nyesh. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> vegan before I met Tash. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I realise that animals deserve the right to live. What do you think about that? Um, I think, like I said, protein. You know, you need to eat that chicken. Now, what do you think about the um, the lives of animals? Do you think they deserve the right to live a life from unnecessary harm? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. And do you eat animals? Yeah. Yeah, right. Would you say you're against animal abuse? Um... No. Well, no. Would you say you're against animal no, abuse? No, 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 no. Oh, so you are okay with abusing animals? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, all animals? Yeah. So other humans? No, I just it down. Yeah. No, it's not. So you're yeah. okay with See, abusing other humans? I him and I abuse him in a ring. Yeah? <laughs> right, right. So if there was a dog here... And I started kicking that dog and I was going to chop that dog's head no, off. We'll leave that Would dog. you be happy with that? No, no. We'll leave the dog. Oh, yeah, I'll, so, I'll, I'll throw him into I'm the ocean. I'm actually trying to kill my dog. That thing will eat you before you eat it. Yeah, right. So you would want to stop me if I started kicking your dog? Or? No, I know she'd, I know she'd be good. Okay, so what if I shot the dog in the head before they could eat me? I'd eat it. Yeah? You no, would eat it? Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> so it sounds like it's you guys are culture. all okay with a, with animal cruelty then, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's part of my culture. Eating dogs is part of my culture. Hey? You guys are, yeah. Who gives a fuck? It's a matrix. So yeah, when you think yeah about follow it, my Instagram, Yanni, Yanni underscore Pastrikos. You know. What are you saying, man? Yeah, she hates if, if you were to point a gun at a dog, they'd probably just sit there and be like, what the fuck is that? If you <laughs> yes. to a human, they'd either right. run or grab the gun. Right, and what would you what would you say about me shooting a dog in the head? Would you say I it's okay? It's a Ben Lee who eat it. That's, That's cool. Would you say it's a good thing to do? You're saying it's inhumane. Yeah. Why? Go to he likes chicken. Hey? He likes chicken. It's a dog. He it's not inhumane right. when it comes to chicken, though, because, I mean, look at him. He, he, he loves it. He loves a chicken. Yeah. So it's inhumane to shoot a dog, but what about any other animal? Like Such as a chicken, cow, sheep, pig? Yeah, but we've been doing Protein, it for nutrients. like years. Right. So but I guess it'd be hard. To do it'd be pretty hard for like lifetime. everyone in the world to like change from meat eaters to like vegan. Right. Just because we've been exploiting a certain species for many years, does that make it okay to do it today? Um, if you have the option not to? If you have the option not to, but, you know, there's like a bunch of old heads that like, probably like wouldn't see it that way, the way that you guys see it. What about yourself? Um, How do you see it? I haven't really thought about it until now. Yeah, so if you had the option to not have to eat animals and pay for them to be abused, would you choose that option? You work at KFC, I've been zoned out half this time. <laughs> you work That's at fine. KFC? Sounds like you're onto it. Yeah, um... I reckon we should always go vegan, man. Honestly, if it didn't, if it didn't taste as good, yeah, this is like, inspirational. This is cruel, if it didn't man. taste as good, I wouldn't do it. Right. So you're saying if it tasted as good, you would choose that option? Yeah. But no, does taste that. justify murdering somebody? No. Does their life outweigh the taste of their flesh? This is fun. No, but like, I guess they're like meant for it. Like. There's like, they're breeded for it, you know what I mean? So there's heaps, I guess. How do you think the animal feels about that though? Just because they were bred for it, does that still mean it's okay to shoot them in the head? I guess not, but... Well, you just yeah, have I, for no, 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 yeah, yeah. No. But let's say you can get all the same taste on a plant-based diet, because you can. I'm not doubt there's no doubting that. You can, it's just about learning how to do it. If you had that option there, all the same taste, all the nutrients, would you choose that over shooting an animal in the head? That's actually not bad. Yeah, I probably would, but probably like... I don't know about the rest of the world. I think it'd be very hard for everyone. Sure, but let's let's start with you, because you you said you're against abusing animals. If you had the option not to do it, you said you would do it. So what's actually stopping you from making the change and actually no longer contributing to that? Um, I guess the people around me. Yeah. Yeah. So social pressure. Yeah. And if Wait, someone was pressuring you, you, if someone was pressuring you <laughs> to hurt somebody or to shoot somebody, would you feel that that's okay to do it? I'm talking about another human here. 
Oh, if Over someone like told me to shoot an animal. Um, I guess I haven't really been in that situation. Everyone so. rate his wrist on God. No. Do you think that the individual's life, whether it be a, a non-human or a human, is worth more than the social pressure that you may experience? No, I don't reckon. Yeah, but at the time, like, if you're, like, in the moment, you don't think about that. You just think about, like, food, food I guess. Fucking hungry. Right, but if you could get food from plants, like you said, without abusing any animals, getting all the same taste, all the same nutrients, would you choose that option? Yeah, yeah. I guess I would, yeah. yeah. So what's actually stopping you from going vegan? I know yeah. you said social pressure, but let's ignore the boys around here. Let's think about the animals' yeah. lives. What's stopping you Fried other chicken. than that? Fried chicken. KFC, yum, yum. He works at KFC. I've been eating it for ages. Yeah. yeah, you've been eating it for a while. But if you learn how to choose the, how to eat plant-based, you learn how to make that transition. Does that be something you could consider? No. Yeah, if if I actually like put in the effort to try to change, I guess yeah. I would. Yeah. And do you think that effort is worth that animal's life, considering what the animal goes through? Do you think making that effort is worthwhile um, so the whole point of being vegan is to like help the animals right I don't think in like 60 years when I'm dead you know I don't think it would like make much of a difference if personally if I did it like just by it's about your individual yeah. contribution right exactly. because you wouldn't do it if there were a dog right here and I said kill that dog or any other animal and you knew you had the choice like you said to not abuse that animal get your nutrients from plants instead would you do it as an individual, would you do As that? As an individual, yeah. Danger, danger. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound like you would. So knowing that, if you were in the animal's position, if you were in those slaughterhouses, you're a cow, chicken, pig, hypothetically, what would you want your oppressor to do? Would you want them to shoot and kill and eat you? Or choose the plant-based option? I wouldn't want them to kill me, yeah. so I'd choose the plant-based yeah, option. Yeah, right. So what are you going to do from now on? Are you going to consider actually going vegan? No. Look into it and start doing some research? Yeah. I'll look into it. Yeah? Yeah. So what, what do you think he you might look Warzone into? Of going to school. We're not going to he to works at KFC. And he plays Warzone. He He's butchers and chicken. Wait, what was the question? So, yeah, so there is, there's a website. It's called Vegan Easy. And uh, .org. VeganEasy.org. It has all the information on there on how to actually go vegan and how to do it well. There are many nutritionists online. All you have to do is search up on YouTube how to go yeah, vegan. And all the information is there, man. It would probably be in a 10-minute video or less. Knowing that, is that something you'd consider doing? When will you do it? Is the question. Bro's laggy. <laughs> Sorry, he's on a Bro, stop, pins, stop, stop. <laughs> right now. Right now. Yeah. Why right now? Because give I'll... me fifty bucks and I'll turn vegan for a week. Hold on. Why right, right now. now? Because. Who the fuck is that guy? What are you thinking about? That's making you influence that choice. Are you thinking about the animals? What are you? What are you considering? I'm on the Street X homepage. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this guy? Stop. What's the main reason? I'm mute the mic, Trevor. Your mic's muted. <laughs> bro, stop. <laughs> 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 You're onto it, bro. <laughs> no, he's gonna become vegan by the end Wait, of the day. what was the question? So what's your main motivator for actually going vegan now to conclude all of this? Because of you. Because of me? Yeah. What about the animals? Oh, yeah, the animals, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. That was a tough question. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. So what I would say is, yeah, check out the um, website, veganeasy.org. Watch Dominion, as Tash recommended. It's a really powerful documentary to show you exactly what's going on for the animals because knowing why you want to do it for the animals is super important. So yeah, I'd just say check out that website. It'll show you everything how to do it. Or just search up on YouTube, man. How to go vegan. Done. Ten minutes. Not even. Seriously, it's about not choosing violence and not choosing abuse every time you go to the grocery store. Oh, You're talking violence. to two people that do boxing for a living. Yeah, yeah man. I do boxing. I don't have to do abuse MMA. animals. I like Yeah, what's your name, man? Ah, oh, Ben, bro. Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. <laughs> Sounds like you're thinking about it. <laughs> his name's Fuck Trevor. these guys. These guys are abusing no, his animals. Trevor. He's lying so you guys are still okay with abusing animals? Life's tough. You just said you hey? do boxing. Life, life, life is tough. No, because it's consensual, isn't it? It's funny Why don't you consent to being filmed? Do the animals... I will blow your face in. We'll blow you. Care. Yeah, he doesn't care. I knew he wouldn't care. <laughs> anyway, so uh, every day you guys choose not to be a vegan. Same goes for you because it sounds like you want to do it right now as soon as possible, which is really admirable, man. I really have a lot of respect for that because it sounds like you're really actually showing some empathy, in the community. caring for the animals. But every day you guys choose not to be a vegan, animals are going to be abused and murdered on your behalf every time you pay for it. You're essentially paying the hitman, the slaughterhouse worker, to shoot animals in the head on your behalf. And you're okay with that? <laughs> On PC. Anyway. Are you guys okay with that or not? Are you guys okay with that? I'm vegan. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. How do you know that I've eaten meat in my life before? Hey? How do you know that I've eaten meat? Because there's a bit of common sense after this conversation. It's pretty easy to tell. 
People like being shit stirs. That's right. today's society. Everyone yeah. Just All right. So you're actually interested in going vegan? Get, re researching into it for the I've animals? I've been vegan for two days. I couldn't. I need my milk. You need milk? Yeah. What about plant-based oh. milk? It's all there, man. Uh, no, I still I drink I I milk. That's nut juice. So you prefer to breastfeed from I like sucking titties. a mother, a cow, that had their baby kidnapped from them. You would prefer that over plant-based milk? baby being kidnapped got anything to do with milk? Why do you think the baby's kidnapped? So, so they can eat food and get bigger and give me a big lamb shank. Exactly, man. Because if, if they're not kidnapped away from their mother, they're going to take the milk away from you. So you're paying for that to happen every time you buy cow's milk. You're paying for the baby no, to be kidnapped. Cows, with cows, when they eat and they do like that methane shit from their farts, if we don't kill at least some of them, then their atmosphere will just be shit. What like, about not breeding them into existence in the first place so you can eat and drink their milk? Well, if they're not existent, that's just wiping out a whole entire... Uh, do you know how supply and demand works? Kind of. Yeah. So what happens when you no longer pay for cow's milk? The people stop milking the cows. Exactly. They stop breeding them into existence, right? Yeah, but I need that protein. So why don't you get the protein from plants? What's stopping you from choosing that option? You said that you don't really get protein from plants. You do. I said you do. You said you only get them from legumes, the beans and shit. No, you can get them from plant-based meats, you can get them from legumes, you can get them from soy milk, you can get them from anything, man. There's, so, there's protein abundant on a plant-based diet. It's just about doing some basic research about how you're going to replace the animal product. Don't get me wrong, I love my vegetables, but I also love my meat. Yeah, right. But what do you think the animal loves? Love having their life taken away from them or living a life free from unnecessary harm? What do you think they prefer? I don't think they really care. You don't think they care? So if there, was a, if there was a cow or a dog right here and I started beating them, do you think they would like it? A dog's different. Dogs How is a dog? Animal. What's different? What's the actual different trait between a cow and a dog? Their yeah, brain is different for, um, shape. Right, so, so you're saying different. that a dog wants to live but a cow doesn't want to live? Depends yeah, they might have more of a depressing well, life. Why do you think they have a depressing life? Well, because well, they're Australia, stuck in a pen. In, and who's paying for them to be stuck in a pen? The yeah. government. No, who's paying for them to be stuck in a pen? Who's buying their flesh? Me. Exactly. You're paying for them to have a depressing life. You already knew it. You knew they have a depressing life and you pay for it. How about this stuff in place? Isn't it con picked? Are you dumb? Cock this in the hand. I don't know this. Huh? Yeah, so what's stopping you from going vegan, man? What's actually stopping you? I like, I like, I like my meat. I like my steaks and my lamb shanks. I like what everything. about the animal's life? I don't think about that. If you were in the animal's position, how would you feel about having your life taken away from no, you? No, but here's this, here's this. So, say you're out on the beers, you come home, you want to come home to like a nice steak or some chicken nuggets, you don't want to go eat a vegetable. You don't have to eat just a vegetable. But There's yeah, plant-based meat options. Yeah, but no, nah, that's just shit. But putting that aside, do you think the animal's life is worth less than you having a steak for taste pleasure? I don't really know. What's your answer? Yes or no? Do you think it's do you think it's worth I less? I like my steak. I don't have to think about it. It's yeah, good. you don't have to think about it. But what if you're in the animal's position? How would you feel? Mate, hey, people are paying to eat me. That's a, that's a win-win. I got clout. Hey? I got clout. How would you feel if you're in the animal's position in the Absolutely. slaughterhouse? You'd feel good about it. Yeah. Is that honest? Yeah. So if you went into a slaughterhouse right now and you're about to have your head you chopped off, how would you feel about that? Honestly. Depends. Depends. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Depends. It depends what type of slaughterhouse it is. So you'd be happy with having your head chopped off? Or a bolt gun in the head? A bolt, I'd prefer a bolt gun in the head. How about life? Would you prefer just to live a life? Free from unnecessary harm? Life's kind of shit. Hey? Life's kind of shit. <laughs> really? So you'd rather die? Depends. Sometimes. Would you rather, if, you, if you wanted to die, you'd do it on your own consent right. Someone wouldn't come along and just shoot you in the head without you consenting to it, right? You wouldn't like that. I wouldn't really mind. You wouldn't mind? No, it's just quick and easy. Sounds like we're not getting anywhere with this, mate. Just, yeah, you're not no. really being very honest. I've been honest. I'm really? Honest. So you'd be okay with someone just shooting you in the head right now? Depends. What type of mood I'm in. If I'm in a shit mood, then yeah. But if I'm in a good mood, then no. But honestly, though, would you prefer to live and have your own choice in that? Depends. What do you think the animal wants? If they want to live their life out, whether or not you do or not, but the cow, do you think they deserve that right to live? and not have someone pay to have them shot in the head? Honestly though, what do you think they deserve? In my opinion, mass culling of cows and stuff and mass overbreeding them to like get steaks and stuff, that's, that's kind of a drag, but like killing a few, that's all right. Really, even if you were that animal, that one animal, how would you feel about it? It, it, it depends, because people need meat, you can't not have meat. What's the difference between mass culling and killing one to that one individual animal? Do they really care whether a thousand were killed or just one of them were killed? Well, I'd rather one over a thousand. No, what do you think the animal prefers? To die or not to die? Not to die. Exactly. So why do you pay for it to happen? 
because I like the taste. Right, does taste and justify I pay, murder? I pay people by for me. Yeah, but still, you're, you're asking for it to happen, that's how demand works, right? Yeah. So if, if you don't think that's fair for the animal, why do you pay for it to happen? Do you think taste actually justifies murder? It doesn't justify it, but that's why I do it. Right, so what if you had the option to choose the plant-based version? Get I've, I've tried being vegan before. We've, we've done like the vegan nuggets and the vegan sausages. Just, I, I, I like prefer the real stuff. It doesn't taste the same to me. Okay. I would just say that you can get all that same taste if you just experimented a little bit further. Um, trust me on that one. However, putting that aside, hypothetically, even if you couldn't get the, the equivalent taste, do you think that little difference in taste justifies the whole life of an individual animal? Not really, but... No, not really. Yeah. What can you do? What can you do? Eat meat. Really? So you'd rather still pay for animals to be abused and murdered, just for your own convenience? What about doing that little bit extra research? Would you, would you be prepared to just do that and experiment a little bit further? Because trust me, man, you can get all that same taste. Yeah, yeah you probably could get the same taste, but it's not the same. What's, what's stopping you, honestly, except for the taste, the convenience, because you know that doesn't justify murder. And it is there, man. It can be very convenient and all the taste. No, it's because I've there. tried it before. I've had experience trying to be vegan. Sure. I've tried all the what vegan What have you tried, things. honestly, though? I've tried the, ve the, vegan chicken, the vegan chicken nuggets. I've tried the vegan milks, the almond milks and stuff. They're yeah. just... Too watery. Too watery, yeah. yeah I, I don't really like almond milk same for the same reason. I go for soy milk, it's high in protein. And almond milk's actually worse than milk. Yeah. The amount of water it takes to it make almond milk. It doesn't take as much water as cow's milk. It's still about yeah. a half yeah, so of that. But then you've got the oat milk, the soy milk. So these are all the creamier options. Honestly, man, there's so many options. There's not just one milk. And there's not just one chicken nugget. There's so many brands out there. So knowing that, and you can still experiment to find that, and you know that the taste doesn't actually justify the life of that animal. Are you willing to just experiment a little bit further and find what works for you so the animal can continue to live? Yeah. What are we going to do with them? Probably KFC. No, I'm making shit. No, I'm making shit. I'm feeling some Nando's. Perry Perry chicken. Honestly, going forward though, what, what's stopping you? If you were in the animal's position, what would you want the oppressor to do? Kill me. No, you wouldn't want to die. Exactly, man. You would prefer to live. Yeah, if you were the animal, without giving consent, you would prefer to live. Yeah, but I can't. Mm. It's very true. That hit me actually. Fuck, vegans. that hit me. This is deep. Check out the website, like I said earlier, veganeasy.org, or just do a YouTube search, man. If that's the easiest thing, how can I go vegan and do it well? There's some really good um, chefs out there, vegan chefs that make all the like the plant-based meat alternatives. Some really good ones out there. Um, just search up, yeah, vegan chef YouTubers. There's so many. I actually have. When's this going to be posted? As soon as cloud. possible, man. As soon as possible. But I only cloud, post if you guys are actually serious about looking into this. Yeah, yeah I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah. What are you going to search up? I'm going to search up um, Dominion. Animal. Dominion. That's a good one to watch to actually learn about what goes on. I, I swear to God, if you watch what happens to the animals, you'll be like, fuck that, I'm not paying for it. Well, that's what got me. I didn't really care about all the taste of stuff at the start. It was more just like, I can't continue to pay for these animals to be tortured on this level. They are fucking murdered. They're gassed alive, the pigs in Australia. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. even if they weren't, even if they just were shot in the head as quick and painlessly as possible, they still deserve that right to live, right? If you have the it option. It depends if they're, if they're like a, like a, a dick pig. Because some pigs are like dicks and they just like hurt all the other pigs and stuff. Yeah, but there's humans that do that too, but we don't just go around shooting them in the head. I mean, in other in no, in third America, world countries they do. They do. I in America. Realize. Sure, sure. Most pigs do not do that. I've met many pigs, I've never met one that harmed me. I've met a lot of pigs too. I've met many pigs going to a slaughterhouse. <laughs> the pigs took him to court. I've met many pigs going to a slaughterhouse. I actually don't eat pigs. Oh, oh yeah, he's actually... Yeah, right. But what about every it's other haram. animal? It's, it's just... It's haram. Haram, bro. Haram. What about every other animal you eat? What's Check the them. difference? Man, big difference. We don't eat them anymore. because Really? What's the difference? What's the moral yeah, difference? Facts. What the fuck? We don't eat meat anymore, The difference dude. is the taste. The difference is the taste? Yeah. But does taste justify just shooting them in the head? It does, man. Yeah. Really? I reckon. Really? What if you say it's good to somebody? You'd probably want to live, right? Mm. Yeah, but then, you know, it's, it's tough. Like I said, it's tough. Life's hey. tough. Tough work. Sorry, like, tough work. No, everyone dies. It is what it is. Everyone does die. Yeah, but they die at their own will, animals right? Animals kill us. We kill animals. Doesn't mean really. you can go around shooting. Yeah, sure. Sorry, sorry. Some, yeah, obviously people die of... I mean, like I mean, natural causes it, and stuff like that. that. But does that make it okay to go around and just start shooting people just because you eventually die? Oh, no, that's pretty common sense, man. It's speaking facts, actually. Yeah. I should stop playing Call of Duty then. Yeah, but that's not real, so it's fine. You can continue shooting people in a video game, just don't shoot them in real life, and that includes animals, is right? Anyway, boys, that concludes the. What are you going to do? Dominion? 
veganeasy.org or just search up on YouTube. It's all on YouTube. Dominion's on YouTube. How to go vegan, that's on YouTube. It doesn't take much. What's man. the best vegan food you guys are? Vegan food that we love. There's too many, there's too many to choose. Uh, there's some really good vegan pizza out there, like Crust do some really good vegan meats and stuff like that, so we do that quite often. Uh, Zambreros, they do hell good burritos. It's all there, it's all there. Six years. Yeah. I don't even look back, man. I've, honestly, there's more taste. I'm being completely honest, there's more taste on a plant-based diet. Because that's where all taste comes from. Herbs, spices. Animal flesh doesn't really taste like much at all, right? Plain chicken. It's what you add to it. That's why you go to Nando's. You like the taste of chili and all of that on it. All the herbs. You can just replace the animal with plant-based version instead, and give them the right to live, eh? Fair enough. You consider it? I consider it. I'd rather do it on my own will. You consider it? Hey, you'll do it on your own will. Of course. I'm not telling you to do anything. It sounds like you just understand what the animals have to go through, and you have an option. So why not? Hey, we all have to go through it. You're not going through a slaughterhouse, that's for sure. School is a slaughterhouse. The Matrix. The Matrix. You're not, you're not being paid against your will to go into a slaughterhouse. It is against and we know that, that's common sense, school. like, obviously, obviously. So why pay for other animals to go through it too? I'm Research it, man, it sounds like you know you don't want to continue abusing animals if you don't have to. Watch Dominion, seriously, just, just watch it. It's there, it's free. It's the most powerful Dominion. thing you can watch. Tonight, we're gonna Dominion. Go on, we're going to go on Dominion. Yeah, we're gonna watch it's tonight. called uh, Watch Dominion. If you're going to search it up on the internet. Uh, watch Dominion. Yeah, watch we Dominion. watch it and we reach out to you saying that, yeah, we want to pursue this. I'll help you. I'm a nutritionist, so I can help you with anything. Honestly, I can help you with anything. 2018, full document. Yeah, it's a good one. All Australian based. I know people that have filmed it gone inside the places, oh, it's pretty crazy. fucking horrific. I like the idea, but I don't like the idea of going into butchers with pig heads and blood and stuff. We're just trying to show people and educate them what, what the animals are. Yeah, you do that in different ways, like public speeches and It's how we reach the public media. We wouldn't do it. We wouldn't be able to get the same amount of attention otherwise. If you were in that slaughterhouse, we would still be going into the butcher to stand up for you, no different to the animal. Can you do it for school? Hey? Can you do it for school? Do it for school. Yeah, but like school uniforms are ass. We need to get rid of school uniforms. You can do whatever you want. That's the freedom of speech, right? You can go protest wherever you freedom want. Freedom of eating. <laughs> freedom of eating. Anyway, boys, yeah. thank you very much for the conversation. Yeah, it sounds like man. you got a little bit more honest, eh? Hey? Anytime. Search up, watch the documentary. Oh, It'll be well worth your time. Anyway, yeah. what's your name? Jake. Jake. Jack. What's, what's your name? Yusuf, mate. Yusuf. Yep. Yanni for Street Boss, remember my name? I will. <laughs> Good job, boys. What's your name? I'm Bentley. Bentley. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Jack. Anyway. Good conversation, boys. Thank you for that.